All right, are you ready to look at another Pokemon rookie? Hmm. Okay. Oof. Let's close that for a second. Why don't you go ahead and throw that some bitch up on screen? All right, I got some bitch right here, right here for show, right here. All right, we got. Okay, <laughs> another one I am familiar with. Oh jeez. What do I remember its name? Let's see if you can. Because I remember, obviously, we've got Scyther, the green, bladed, armed bug Pokemon thing. Uh, that's, you know, Scyther. Ah, you know, they had that in the show a little bit. And I, I want to say this one is a simple... Okay, see, this, I, I might get the spelling wrong in the name. Like, Which is I'm fair. Wanting to, I'm wanting to say Scissors, or Scissor. But I'm, I, I almost want to say Sith or... I'm just gonna go with Scizor. That's exactly correct! Yes. <laughs> so, uh, apparently you do remember things, but do you remember what type or types it is? Uh, I'm gonna go with Bug and Grass. Is Finally. that your fine? Ooh, I didn't even have to finish the question. Final answer, and you would be half correct. It is a bug type, but it is, is also it, is the other is the other a fighting type. Incorrect again. Shit. It's a steel type. Why? Because it's a steel. Because it's made of metal. What? I mean, I it's a little hard. To, it's a, it's a little hard to tell in the picture because it's a flat picture, but it definitely looks like it's made out of metal compared to Scyther. It's supposed to be like shinier or something. Correct. Okay, that makes sense. You know, if you were to just take a picture of its like of its little claws right here, those would look like a Pokemon themselves. Totally. On purpose. Maybe. So I could see if he's like, you know, just moving his pincers. He's like, well, hey, what's up, bro? Yeah, I'm Pokemon too. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I see that being. And then it's, a, it's, like, it's like a Venus flytrap. Exactly. Suck him in. Exactly. They'll just eat through his hands. Okay, so how, how do you think that this Pokemon evolves from Scyther? I want to say it's just a normal one, but I feel like you're going to go, ha 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 you fool. Uh, uh, but I don't. I, I, I can't imagine with a bug steel. One, God, it can't be the coat again. It's so silly, but then again, it is Pokemon. So is I want to say I want to say it's normal, but for the sake of Pokemon, I'll say it has to have that steel jacket or something. Final answer. You got. To, uh, I'll give you. I'll give you seventy-five percent credit because you are right. He does have to hold the metal coat, but then you have to trade it. <laughs> That's funny. But would, would you like to hear a, at least what I consider, a fun fact about this Pokemon? Why not? So with the 900 plus Pokemon that are available now, this one from the second generation is still my all-time favorite. Why is that? I... It's just something to do, like, I like the typing, even though it's four times weak to fire, like, that's slight problem, but it does resist normal, grass, ice, psychic, bug, dragon, steel, fairy, like, it's got lots of resistances, but you throw in a frickin', uh, Charizard, and a Charmander, a Charmander just right, you, th you throw in a Charmander, a Charmander, he Charmander no, 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 a, uh, a, a tor tor chick will just cough and uh, it's like oh, it's, uh, oh you killed me pretty much pretty much yeah but i will say this so, i mean i fine. like the type I, I i didn't necessarily like the evolution method because in the game when you trade you have to choose between if you want to get steelix or scyther or scissor sorry because you only get one metal coat oh i see so you gotta, you gotta really make that decision there so, from uh, the Ultra Moon Pokedex, it says, Once it has identified something as an enemy, it will continue beating them with its steel-hardened pincers 
until there's nothing left but scraps. That is badass. And it is that, fucking bad. That, that, that made me think why it could be a fighting type. It looks like, you know, it looks like a, a brawler, you know? I mean, if they make a crab brawler a pure fighting type, why can't anything be a pure fighting type? Well, I mean, their pincers are basically boxing gloves. So I assume that... Oh, know, for sure. Puts, puts it in it, and it has legs, it's standing upright. It looks like it would fit in that category of, of a fighting type, perhaps, if it doesn't pinch you, maybe. Uh, but I mean, I'll it, say this design is one of my favorite. Holy shit! Like, I, right? I haven't seen, it, I haven't seen this in a long time, but this looks really cool. It, I, I mean, it also speaks to me because it's one of those things where you look at a Pokemon and then you look at its evolution and you're like, "Yeah, I can see exactly how that happened." Yeah, well, like, I like how yeah the the other design was you know green and had blades for its hands essentially, Ooh. and it's all different. And then this one's like. You know, the steel aspect of the blades are in its type now. And it's got, you know, some boxing pincer stuff. It's oh, a cool little switch a, up. A secondary fun fact is, you know what a shiny Pokemon is, right? And that's when they're, like, a different color, right? Right. So, Scyther is green, and Scizor, the shiny, is also green. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I kind of want to see that design now. I'm going to look that up and... Put that up here real quick. Oh yeah, I mean the uh to me it's almost disappointing because it's like, well if I wanted a scyther, I would have just left it a scyther if you're gonna make it green, but then making it green, I also have this same feeling at the same time. I was like, that's an excellent homage to what you just evolved from. Because if you were to see it out in the wild running around, you'd be like, ah, it's just another fucking scythor. And then you'd be like, wait a second, was it? Wait, like, this, looks cooler than a shiny. A, this looks cooler than a Scyther. Right, you don't want to miss a shiny. Shiny's awesome. I think it's kind of cool to have the, yeah, the inverse of the original Pokemon as the shiny version of it. I got it up right here now. Yeah, that's fucking hardcore. Right? That's a hell of a shiny version. I, I wish that Scizor was more of, like one of the more common Pokemon in the show. Because that'd be cool to see on screen doing different stuff here and there. Oh yeah, I think uh, you might see him in a couple episodes, but as far as I know, he's only featured in one episode ever because he's the primary Pokemon of a random trainer that they run into along. Yeah, the I remember. I remember that once, and then yeah, I think he. I think they've. I think it's been used more than once, but right. rarely. Like it's it's just one of those throwaway Pokemon that's oh it's in a battle real quick and then it's gone. Like, right, he's just on the team instead of being the guy. How is this not one of the like more favored Pokemon? Like Jesus, this this dude, this dude, this guy has its own show, is on its own. Like you know, fuck the trainers. It's gonna it's gonna be its own thing. So what you know? you you want to have uh, nine hundred different Pokemon shows where they focus on one? No, Pokemon I'm just saying this primary? one. This one looks cool. Is all I'm saying. I agree. It's badass, and we should definitely get a show focused around it. Like, this reminds or me not of Beedle. it, but it as the, like, it being yeah. Ash's Pikachu, like, pick a new trainer, have yeah, him be the primary Pokemon. It'd be awesome. Like, I could see this in, like, a Beetleborg team, you know? Oh, Beetleborg. <laughs> something. That's good stuff. Maybe that's why I like it so much. It, I love it, that it has that feel, doesn't it? Like, you know, it's bug, and it's got, totally. like, armor, or, like, an armor aesthetic to it. Totally. I don't know. I just freaking love that. But uh yeah, that will that will conclude this one. <laughs>